put my warrior music on real quick, just for a minute. watching I appreciate you for being here this is like I said my first video I am the I'm the gifted God disabled to gab so there's my spiritual name um, I come to you off the sidelines uh, I've been forced to in this mode I don't apologize for anything that I'm about to say or do Understanding the recourse, the repercussions, the circumstances that one takes, going against the system that has oppressed uh, a certain type of people uh, for many years, that have devalued a certain gender for <laughs> millions of years. dive into that but today on this first video I want to tell you what uh, made me come to the flourishing that it's time now come out the sidelines come out the shadows I've been hesitant uh, to do so but because of the journey that I've been personal journey my personal struggles uh, that is uh, relationship of course uh, like so many of you out there this new agenda that we're being forced to go through. Uh, I won't say the name because I've paid attention to a lot of the lectures uh, and understand that uh, certain things are bound to happen with my work and all this stuff. So you guys know this. Uh, you wouldn't be here watching this stuff if you didn't. So we'll keep it. Uh, We'll keep it 100 and do all that and use subliminal messages and stuff like that to get uh, through what we can. Ebonics, as they once said. Um, but in this relationship, uh, I've been forced to evaluate myself at a higher volume than I ever have. I've been forced to look at my demons and been forced to go in and see what it is that my actions and my doings and who I am is it contributing to my failure to be a good companion for the opposite sex that is something that I strive for uh, because uh, I'm a 52 year old man that can tell you 
unequivocally, I love women. I love the opposite. I love God's greatest creation. Creation, if if that is not God itself. <laughs> uh, you'll quickly realize that I'm cut differently. I think differently. Uh, beyond critical thinking, uh, my thinking is knowing to me. In this relationship, I realize that the toxicity toxicity that I have created uh, within myself with other women that I have been married to. Yeah, <laughs> I'm one of them that's been married about, uh, this is my fifth marriage now. Uh, I attribute some of it to the lifestyle, the career that I, path that I chose. Uh, I'm a vet, I did 23 years and six months in uh, my Uncle Sam's military, unapologetically. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for nothing. Even with the knowledge that I know and knew what was going in, I knew I was walking into the lion's this den, but I uh, I was good at it, people. Because uh, if you tap in and understand yourself, then you understand that the uh, majority of us alpha men out there are leaders, naturally. Just naturally can lead a group or and successfully accomplish things that at high levels that uh, others can't. So I, I attribute that attribute that to my uh, something I was able to do at a great high volume. I was a first sergeant, made it to E8 on the enlisted side, um, and I did it my way. Uh, I didn't have no no disrespect to those who use certain things to get them to a head, you know, when I came in, one of the things was, ah, become a mason, or, you know, join this and join that, nah, nah, I was already equipped, already mentally, um, instilled in me by my father, and, uh, you know, join no groups, thinking, and then educated on, on that, um, them paths, you know what I'm saying, I already knew, I had family members back Telling you, you know, yeah, they this, 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 but um, curious though, I can tell you that curious on how they moved in because I uh, understood that I'm um, finally found out quickly when I became uh, Muslim at 21, 21, 22, 22, and uh, in Germany that I was a savant type of intellectual. I wanted to soak up and learn the things that many didn't know, you know what I'm saying. Um, reasoning because you I realized I was a seeker right, and we'll get into that as we go but um, being that um, I traveled I traveled the journey of uh, Islam um, did that for about 15 years of my military career um, uh, it served its purpose uh, opened me allowed me to see a little bit of myself, I would say. A little bit more path. Right? Same path of spirituality. It's just that you know, you still um, thought process that you think you need somebody to tell you about you. Uh, love some Farrakhan. I'm not gonna tell you that. Long. Love this message. Love the process of uh, how they don't touch us ass attitude you know, our culture, our community and all that, but still you don't see nobody outside of him um, pushing the envelope of it's just one person. I never believed it just should be one person. It's just like that, what we're going through here. Um, different leaders and different people are coming to address our situation because it's not just one person that can bring us out of this condition. It's gonna be a collective hands of the strength, the strong, the alphas, that have the ability and knowledge and understanding who they are. They're just gonna be able to get the, those that are sheep. There's no, we have to stop playing with the birds. They're sheep that just follow you. And for you to get somebody to follow you, to to listen to what you're saying and get them out of the fellowship, you got to be up on your shit. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the outside facade that many of us uh, work so hard for, uh, the establishment, the, 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 the 
look. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. The preachers don't get a lot of followers. T.D. Jakes and uh, Joe Osteen and all them don't get a, a lot of fathers going up in there in ra raggedy clothes. Don't don't get a lot of fathers going up in there with, with a beat up ass Honda driving up to them. They get them followers because the image that the, the followers see, they want to be like that. And they think that the spirituality that T.G. Jakes and Olsen and all these other guys got is what attributed them to get that. Not understanding behind the closed doors. No, you, you've been, you've been bamboozled, like Malcolm say. You've been brainwashed. That that's all a setup. Yeah, the system's going to give him all the perks, all that stuff, because he's got the ability to control your your mind, your thinking. See how it works? So, purpose. In these relationships, when you go back in them, and I go back into the four runs prior to this one, I see the, the monster behavior that one had. Uh, I was cut from the tree of uh, man, take care of your home, old school, you know what I'm saying? Take care of your home, handle your business out in the streets, do you, you know, run the moves, run this, do that, but take care of home, you know, make sure she got this, that, she ain't, man. silly. <laughs> when I think back on it, it's just silly, right? But we prescribe to that because that's what we've seen. That's what, that's the example that was set for us. That's that's you know I have to be honest. You know, talk about that was a rolling stone, man. It just is what it is. Like so many of us, because even that comes to reason why that comes to that comes from a stems from why your condition is like that now today why our mind is still mentally in the realm of that some of it good some of it bad I listened to something last night I uh, can't remember that brother's name good brother but I'll get that name for you because he allowed me to see something that I didn't see that I didn't know understood makes sense because when he said it, it was like wow that registered but biologically, man, we, we was created to appropriate. <laughs> Think about that. You were created to appropriate, to, to have sex. So what this society has done is starved your appropriation. Think about that. That's why you see Nip Romney and all these other Mormons and all this stuff. They go out there and have all them goddamn kids. Because they know. They know. They know they exactly what they supposed to be doing. They hide it from you though. Or you hide it from yourself now. A lot of us hide it from ourselves because we don't want to open that book. And if you didn't open that book back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, when this internet came up, you damn sure ain't looking at some of these lectures on YouTube pantheon and stuff just two three hours four hours Bobby Hemet Panic uh, Young Pharaoh Ben Clark uh, CL Freeman Sister Maya Silo you're not listening to them because they too long they're not entertaining and that's sad because that's the, them are the pillars of us moving forward and us teaching our generations that's coming. It's just no different from when we was, when we didn't have TVs and phones and satellites and all that stuff. No different than you sitting on that porch getting that information from Big Mom. It's the same. But our connection to our reality is dying. Our old folks would have, our purposely, they want to take out. That's why. 
So you and I lose the foundation. And I'm sorry this is touching me so much because, you know, I just lost, uh, 2013, lost my father. And then a little bit after that, I lost my, my earthly mother, my beautiful goddess. So I know how that in itself, missing the... history, the ancestral bond that they had to their past that kept the family moving. You can see the product of their missing and my siblings not not being up here with understanding. We've been living a facade. You've been told lies. That religion that you do traditionally Hardly because that's what you were taught, but not researched and wouldn't find the education. Somebody can see and tell you, show you in the book, oh, John chapter this and geometry of this, and show you that you, where it says you are God, where it says it, you domain, this is you. <laughs> but they'll still believe that Kool Aid, drink that Kool Aid. So in my relationship, being that finding that yourself has been what others sit out there and talk and say these women are, but you don't call yourself that or the men don't call ourselves that because we look at it as a, a conquering, uh, the predator after the prey, the more the predator. <laughs> But we don't demonstrate ourselves. We demonstrate the ones we prey on. Man, that's when we know we fucked up. Excuse my friends. All of us are running around here psychologically just destructive, mentally unbalanced. I always challenge myself to, when I'm with the individual, as much as I know, you have to know. As much as I consume, I must share. Because it's the true fact that somebody who harbors information and data and the know, they know the power of it. So the reason why they harbor it is because they want to control, be puppeteers. Anything that can enable somebody to function in this world and inspire them to be the best they can be and encourage them that you too got in you Godship. Them are individuals that are humanitarians of this earth. Them are angels, prophets, call it what you want, chosen ones. You see all kinds of names. But them are the true people of God, reality. They're the ones that he sent to ensure that the humanitarian level, the, the savagery doesn't get to the, to the floor where they Mankind destroys itself. We at the door. But we at the transition point of the door. Cause I don't believe that this world going anywhere no time soon. I just I just don't feel that. But I think it's gonna transform and it can transform into whatever we decided to be. Beautiful thing or destroy a whole lot of people so there's a certain amount of people can be around and think that they're going to be happy. <laughs> because if you think you're going to be destroying mankind and God going to let you get away with that, the Almighty, <laughs> then you know nothing about females.
Yeah. I said that. Ain't nobody gonna sit up here and tell me yeah, God or man. It's impossible. It's impossible. I sit here on this video right now and I can tell you ain't a goddamn thing I could create with my hands and my feet. Human. Not one fucking thing. But that woman, she can create it, nurture it, respond to it inside her. And then when it comes out, the magnificent, perfect beauty of it. The perfection came from who? <laughs> Real talk. Just open your mind. Like one of them uh, great ministers out there, Ray Hagen say, man, I love that cat. Watch him almost every Sunday. What's up, Dr. Ray? Beautiful, bro. Hey, it's that circle. There's some things in there you, you just ain't gonna get. But be willing to take the constructive criticism what you don't know and not get mad at it and argue about it with it. Go do your research. Go do your research. It's so much valuable information out there. See for yourself. Denounce the research. Not the messengers. We're just the messengers. Some of us are the, 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 the original. The ones who actually constructed and made the message. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm going through this issues in the relationship, seeing the patterns of what I did in my relationships, five, four relationships prior. I'm seeing the level of disrespect. I'm seeing the, the aggressiveness. I'm understanding like everybody's uh, teaching us those that are, that are our astronomers and our uh, cosmo uh, analyses, analysis that you know we're going through these phases and stuff like that and what are things and it's bringing about change within the woman and the feminism and the, and the male and all this other stuff so understanding that not diving deep where then you know one to be like well is this real or this shit is real bro <laughs> it's real because as I go through it I'm looking outside my lane friends this man, that man, brother, all this stuff. People dealing with it. Over the two years, I think the, the male gender has probably been more personified with these two years. Whether it be us transitioning from male to transgender, uh, male to our sexuality, male to our sexuality being exploited out. Um, you just see where the only, the one thing that you really see about the women transition is they come to bow, so whether you like it, me like it or not, there's their, their energy is being forced to stand up. <laughs> yeah, that's real. That's real. So whether they're sorry if I got all kinds of stuff on me because I I just I was walking. I just almost, this is my exercise walking. Something told me to stop and get get this going. But um, the energy is real. So if I say this in its tone, where that is, there's a f if you associate if you around female, and it's it's crazy because you have to look at it as if whatever level of mental that woman is on topped with that energy that we have okay that's gonna that's hitting her that's over her and whatever level of mental she's on dealing with that's gonna determine how she's activating how she's operating 
how she's destroying. Yeah. So, <laughs> watch this. If she's on some, I watch Carly B and Megan Stallion, boo boo boo, baby, all day, hip hip hop, shit, baby, bro. And that force energy hit and it's on, then that's just gonna strengthen that influence. See how that works? It's gonna strengthen it, heighten it. So when she starts activating, that's who she personifies at, because that's what she's looking at. That's what she's emulating. Same thing with the male. If you low low vibrating and, and influencing him by low vibrations and da 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 da, then whatever that in, however that energy is, it's on all of us. It's gonna strengthen that shit. Some of us are calling it our aura and all this other stuff, whatever you want to call it. Same strange energy. All right, it's basic energy. Man, I'm drawing out. Out oh, here drawing out. Um. So in my my form, I attribute it. It gets toxic, toxic, when you're dealing with a woman who's. And I'm gonna hurt some people's feelings, but it's the truth. When you're dealing with a woman who's not really educated, you know. Um, and if is educated in some ways or form through the system, stop the education there, and then you know not willing to diversify in other way forms or listen art or music museum you know things that are of significant to educate you more hasn't traveled hasn't went nowhere hasn't done anything then the vibration of that low energy that's hitting us whether it's low or high if you're on that low it just heightens up whatever you you dealing with you know on that low 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 level so they're not going to be responsive to responsive to uh uh in arguments, in decision making, see what I'm getting at? It's gonna be low vibration. It can't, it can't operate. It's high. The atmosphere high, giving it, giving it to him. But I already, if she's already operating low, how you expect somebody who don't know how to take care of a bank account? How you expect somebody who don't know how to clean a house? Who ain't been taught that stuff? How you expect them to vibrate high when all they know is low? See what I'm talking about? So those of us women, those women that vibrate high already, they accomplished, know who they are, self-esteem not low, uh, 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 got children, and blah, blah. so when that's hitting them, that helps to boom, beat, bolt them. But watch this. The control factor that brings it down it's stuff we know. Obesity, they diet, what you intake. Stress, vibrating so high to stress, the kids got so many kids, four or five kids, stressing your ass out. No time to yourself. You sit down to yourself daily, meditate. <laughs> Pray, whatever choice you, however you want to do it, do some yoga. But you got to do that daily. Mainly it's our diet. We still out here eating the hogs and the hogs and shit. I ain't going to sit up here and tell you more. But I don't feast on it, you know what I mean? You catch me if I ain't that in a month, ain't had a bacon cheeseburger or some shit. Let me get on that bacon cheeseburger, but every week, every, nah, I can't do that. Because I understand the digestive system, how we just like a snake. She, you don't see no snake eating three horses every week. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you gotta digest that shit. You lay there for about four or five days, like, man, what's in that snake belly? That is food, nigga. He's he laying there, digesting. That's you. You same, same as one. The only difference is you, some of us got a good metabolism that speeds up and works for us. And as soon as we eat some, you know, next minute we, it's, it's out. Some of us don't do a damn thing, sit on that damn couch, smoke that stuff, whatever, whatever. And that, that them, them good goodies that you eating up, them donuts and pancakes and all that, just stick to you. <laughs> but that's just on your diet, your your your, your activity, your uh, metabolism. So what I have been experiencing through mine is high vibration, but um, 
high vibration with low, low, low self-esteem, low understanding. All right, we got one person who's coming within their own understanding the process that he's going through and sitting, meditating daily, strongly. All right, shedding. All right, I ain't never cried so much in two years. What? Since my daddy died. But that's the process. That's the shed. You shed. Um, what am I leading to? I'm supposed to been on here, y'all. I understand that my hesitancy, my procrastination was uh, selfish on my part because you don't know whose life you're going to touch. I was. You don't know when you're called upon if you don't take that step if you don't take if you don't activate yourself you don't know what the repercussions gonna be in my understanding and my wisdom I want to thank my almighty my supreme whom I believe in I want to thank the watchers I want to thank Shadows, the, the ancestors, my daddy, my mom, who I know looked down on us, who's part of that power, power that, that if you tap into, you get, it's real. My grandfather and my grandmother, who I have a picture of them, but I never could envision them in mind with these. I say this because I'm supposed to be in here, y'all. It's been doing this. I've been sitting on the sidelines. And the reason why I'm here today is because I got to get off the sidelines because it's knocking at the door. It knocked at my door. It knocked at my door, and I didn't like the way it sounded. I'll run it to you like this real quick because I don't want to make this a long video. Um, my nephew, my young... My young, my brother, my only brother, who's uh, struggled with diabetes uh, more than myself, and uh, at a young age had his, his leg amputated. <laughs> um, but we'll get on the subject later, because that's, that's a very good one. But uh, his son, my nephew, Dominique, and I hope you don't mind that I'm you know, dropping his name or using this. I don't think he would because he knows his own. He was abused by his baby mama. Shit. I say abused, but probably more than that, you know. But you know, as black folks, we, we, we minimize our, our actions and what we do and stuff. So I get a call from my first wife, who is his aunt. My brother and I, um, ironically married, brothers married sisters, uh, my first marriage. So she calls me and she says, uh, she's crying, of course, hysterical. Says, Sean, something bad has happened. Just has stabbed your nephew in the chest. My reaction was immediately I started shaking because I understood how much that child meant to me. Immediately, my vision, when I'm talking to people, I can start visioning them and I can easily go into my DNA record and which is your library and see the history that we built or what did I build within my universe? So I was immediately able to see my nephew in my arms when he was sick as an infant. 
It's just like quickly flash to that. Can't lie to you because it, it, it feel it was upsetting because I felt like I lost. We lost. And I just screamed out. And I held that scream for a long time. Until I could hear my ex-wife voice saying, Sean, Sean, but it was like an echo. You know, as if he was far away and the voice was drawing you back. Yeah. So when I started hearing her more, started becoming weak and I, I went to my knees my hands on my knees you know like if you're an athlete you know like you're exhausted you want to just get some you trying to keep your balance and keep you on your knees your hands on your knees and my breathing it was heavy <laughs> and at that point I realized I was having a, a, I had an out of body experience and it, had, it hadn't happened that wasn't the first time that happened to me so it wasn't like when I came to it to finally hear the hear part of it. You know, I, I understood what happened to me because that had happened to me about three times before in my lifetime. And we'll talk about that. that you know, that'll be another show, uh, another experience. So we got through the talk and the understanding. Um, I immediately immediately understood the why <laughs> I understood the why three months prior to separating from my my wife now I had to call the police on her because she was jumping on me physically she, you know, she's not big enough. She's like 5'8", 5'9", 150, 150, 60 pounds. So I'm 5'10", 5'11". Uh, right now, currently 215, but at the time, probably you know, 220, 225. So played football, you know, been through the Army, all that stuff. So I'm, I'm, I ain't no, you know, you hit on me, you know, it's going to take a lot. So, um And then uh, my MO is not abuse towards women. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not that guy. But I am that guy to protect myself. All right? So I, I've had uh, in, uh, interference with my you know, past wives and stuff where they, they've tried to throw a plate at me or whatever, hit me and stuff like that. And we tangled up. All right? So I'm not that guy. You know, Just sit up there and take an ass with them. But um, this uh, worked out well for me because of the inner space that I was able to create within myself through my meditation, compartmentalize the energy and tone down the temper. But uh, in the process, I had to call the, call the uh, police on this individual several times. We all know hurt people hurt people. So that's what I was dealing with. Uh, my wife now, who's a very beautiful person, inside and out, she just struggles with her demons, her past. All of it stems from the past. But me and her going through that under made me help me understand. You know, this is something. This is traditional in some of us. This is a cycle for some of us. All right. My dad dealt with this shit. <laughs> and I watched him at an old age move away from it. Nah, this shit ain't gonna kill me. Okay? So, me 
being an intellectual, understanding, catching stuff quick, got common sense, um, critical thinking. It was a no-brainer. Nah, nah, dude. You 52 right now. She's 42. What you think that's going to look like when you 62 and she 52? It's a no-brainer. And I know what many people say, well, so what if she gets help? And what? Stop. Stop. We know how this works. See, that's our problem. We don't want to look at things for what things really are and how they happen and how they affect us and how they, they continue to just, 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 just systematically destroy our lives as we can go on in generations. You think we? I didn't try to help? I got benefits. I'm your one counseling. Not at all. That's free. <laughs> Let's go. Get, get, can you get? You know, nah. No consistency. No want. We stubborn, black folks. We stubborn. Even if we got the help, we won't. We won't go get it. Cause we too bothered by what this person gonna say, what they gonna say, or how they gonna make you feel. We out, they got us so outside of ourselves. Who's they? The system. At one point in time, you could say, Willie Peas, white people, but you can't say that no more. Not, the, not no intellectual, not no critical thinking, not no somebody who done, 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 went and done them research and put their time in. No. No longer can you point at white people for your problems. If anything, you better point at yourself. And people who look at you, look like you, is holding you down. Don't want you up there because you don't fit their MO. Because you don't follow their religious structure. Because you don't follow the control pattern that they that keeps them rich. <laughs> yeah. We're going to see as time go by, as time these pinnacles, these churches and synagogues and all that stuff fall because they're going to fall. Oh, yeah, they're going to fall. They're falling now. They're falling now, slowly dying. But to get to the, the point that I was trying to make this video for today, being one that is tapped into the universe and gets the blessings and and the insight from it. If you're not obeying it, then you're gonna have to deal with them demons. So my demon is that I had to deal with was I've been told get your ass out there and and, and, and Spread your word, spread your message. You got a gift, you can talk about anything. You can mentor, you can coach. You've been in that military, you made your E8, first sergeant. That ain't just no pat on the back type thing, you know. I got soldiers that I know for sure that can tell you, yeah, because of that cat, yeah, I'm where I'm at. And I'm proud of that. But I'm also one that I don't pat my pelt on the back for stuff like that. That's what we put on this earth to do. Cut from my father who always said, if you know better, do better. Him and the goddess, my mother. Whom I take care of. Ten years strong. So if I would have got my butt in gear long time ago, maybe my nephew would have heard this message, would have seen it. And he would have had to gain the skills or question and say, well, what do you think, huh? Or reached out and said, hey, man, what, you know, am I in a toxic relationship? Yeah, nephew. You are? 
because the most disheartening thing right now that we're dealing with as a as parents, as guardians, supporting him is the false love that he has for him, even after she didn't done this. Protect them. Because the babies. <laughs> Who am I to judge? See how that hurts. What would I do if it was me? I kind of already answered that question. Me and mine ain't been together for four months. You're not gonna put your hands on me. Show me that you'll physically try to hurt me. The money you fucked over, the car you dented, the hell you caused. I could deal with it. Any man can get over stuff like that. It's monetary stuff. But when you show that you'll go to limits to hurt, destroy me, so that I can leash back, react back, and know that once I do, you can't survive that. And if you do, you're going to be in the hospital. And the end point is me being in jail. <laughs> On some domestic violence charge. Which they love. Take that nigga's benefits. This is our reality. I don't just step out for my nephew because you damn sure better believe that my understanding helps me understand that it's a lot of y'all going through this. A lot of you men and you women been going through this. Been going through this. Don't accept it. That's not love. That's that person using you as a mirror. A cover. A veil. Really telling them sales, I don't love me. So I'ma destroy you. And that's gonna make me feel good. Because that's what misery does. It don't want to be by itself, show. It won't company. I was been told for the past five years that I've been miserable because <laughs> I take care of my mom. I'll end this on this because this will be the continuation to the next video. Has it been hard taking care of my bipolar schizophrenic mother who has carries 12 personalities 24-7 uh, hours a day I and mean, you got to figure out which one to deal with and how to deal with it in which capacity yeah yeah at times I thought this was the point in which I took my life because I couldn't handle pressure to struggle mentally at times in this I've thought this must be where you cut it off for yourself and had to come back and deal with this because losing your father losing your earthly mother two pillars that How many of y'all go out here and glamorize these raggedy ass stars and bull outside yourselves? Shh. My heroes already always been Abner Shellman Sr. and Willie Montgomery Shellman and Elise Carbo. Yeah. They're my superheroes always. So I take care of my superhero. I give her her reward. 
the void of peace of mind, the void of waking up when you want to, the void of eating whatever I can provide for you and you having options when you want to eat, not being on no time. Oh, you got to eat at 7 and we're going to eat at 12. And, uh, you're going to do it how you do it, God. You the goddess that brought the God in, so you get treated like the goddess you are. I don't need nobody to tell me how proud I am of myself or how proud they are of me. I'm a man who knows what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm a man who knows and who's been taught and stuff instilled in me by that old godship, goddessship. So I don't need nobody to tell me how, what I'm doing is right. You don't throw people away, especially if they didn't throw you away. I often want to tell those who try to tell me, put your mama in a home so you can live. <laughs> put your mama in a home, you stressed out. What if my mama put me in a foster care? What if my mama had put me in a up uh, for adoption? <laughs> I don't think like that no more. We superficial type beings now. Many of us. And that shit got to stop. Or we ain't gonna make it. Life is gonna see loved ones drop off like like it ain't like flies. Like, damn, what happened? You know what happened. You ain't in tune with your purposes down here. And you ain't got no purpose down here. So you wondering why the George Floyds and all these scandalous dudes, all these people that's doing dirt, bro. Got us crying and shit because they're getting dirt done to them. But when you go do your history and go look at what they was doing, and I'm not condoning shit, killing none of us in no matter. Don't get that twisted. But go do your research before you get dramatic like I did and throw your 55-inch TV off the damn dresser in front of your kids. Like, what the fuck? Another one? Like this? But go do your research. And you'll probably be even hurt, more hurt, of what George Floyd was doing behind closed doors than what this cop did to him. I told you, karma is real. And we all say it. Y'all say it in them churches. Karma, two folds, and all. you say it, but you don't believe it. You ain't thinking about it. Yeah, it's gonna come back two folds. And I'm here to testify to that crap. I was good to my first three wives providing helping raise non-biological children that weren't mine I say it like that because I don't like staying step and half and all that now when you with me you, you with me that's mine that's my responsibility I understand the law of the universe I understand all these kids are yours when they come in your presence. It's just we didn't stop understanding that. We used to be like that. How you know? It takes a village. <laughs> you got your ass in some shit two, three blocks down. Miss Mary, Mr. Rick, James, all of them whooped your ass or said something to you because everybody found out what you did, knew what you did because that's how it's circling. And we ain't had no cell phones. And someone didn't have phones in their house. And you trying to figure out, how the hell did they find out? Because the village was on your ass. <laughs> we kid ourselves on how the CIA, FBI, and all these alphabet agencies came about with their programs and shit. Off your crazy ass parents and us. 
They observing us, looked at us for a long time, all the time. So, you know, like the natural way they do that. Their surveillance. Miss Jimmy, she's always at the window doing that. Mr. Ren, he be uh, uh, fixing on that house over there, but he got his eyes open. He's a mason. You uh, see how it works? In a Lincoln instead. So what they do to you? Put cameras up in your damn neighborhood. <laughs> Could camp cameras and shit all up in our neighborhood. And that's the new village. I'm monitoring. But back to what I was saying. Yeah. We can't throw our old folks away. You know how bad. I don't, I don't give a damn what, how bad that shit get, how hard it get. That's your job. That was their job. That's what you, you, non-knowingly wanted. I mean, you knew. We'll get in this another, another venture. You knew what you was doing when you came through them. You orchestrated all that shit when you was up there with the Almighty and the and the orchestration of the, you know, all that. Yeah, you you pre-planned all your shit. Right? But yeah, we can't throw our parents away. Nah. Because uh -uh. when you do that, you pretty much shorten your generational life or whatever leg le legacy you trying to leave behind. Because the, the sibling, I mean, the, the, the generation that's come sees that and they's like, well, shit. When, when grandma get old, put her in the home. <laughs> and now you don't get none of that, 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 that energy. Because they still got energy. My mama got energy. She gives me energy. I don't give a damn what, how, how many, all them 12 releases in there, shit. It's still energy, show. When I wake up, I'm energized to take care of her. That's the amazing thing people don't realize. You be tired and all that stuff, but you wonder, what keeping me going? She, the energy, the mother and son connection. She's one of the, she's the Omega, shit. Yeah, so... We have to be better. That's my purpose of being on here, is to continue the old history of how we taught each other, how we inspired each other, how we helped continue to evolve our heritage, our culture. I'd like you to continue journey with me if you like this video. Do what you need to do to keep it going. You know the energy that's needed. I'm not gonna be on here trying to stroke your ego or make people feel good. I'm not gonna be over here with the buffoonery and uh, trying to show you, give you a showcase. I'm not on here trying to make money. I'm self-made. This shit gonna do what it needs to do. If it does, it does. I like to, because I'm one of them individuals that give back. I love people, I love my people. I know I'm tapped in, I know who I am because when my people hurt, I hurt. And I ain't even gotta know you. But I know you. I know you through my struggle trials and tribulations that I was able to get over. Some not, but the ones I wasn't able to get over there, you can best believe I'm here now, 52. I had instrumental great people to bring me forward, just like now, in the midst of what I'm in. I got some beautiful young people, beautiful. This kept me solid. I want to share that with you. So until the next video. I salute you. Be patient with yourself. Your understanding. Love yourself. You can't love nobody. If you don't love yourself. Don't believe what people say about you. Believe.
It's the God with the gift of gab out.